Welcome to Spell Slingers, the show where I play Magic the Gathering with my nerd friends. And today we have Michelle S. Roberson of Fragdoll's fame. How are you? Um, freaking pumped to be here. I have the uh, Jace playmat action about to go down, so. I have been playing Magic for probably too long. I actually understand you are a, like a regular player for a long time. Yeah, I've been playing um, on and off since like Ice Age. Probably dates me a little bit, but I dabble. I want, I want to play some control. You play so. blue? Oh, you monster. Okay, look, roll, roll the wheel, okay. roll the wheel. Okay. If you roll, if you roll blue-black. I'm gonna be so happy. <sighs> I'm always a little bit nervous when I play something outside of my comfort zone, which green-white is. I really am into control, kind of like in my real life. You looked out this time. <sighs> okay, okay. Now, I'm not, I'm not as much of a control player. I like having units to control. It's not a bad thing. I don't know, like having a little army that I feel like I'm microing. Let's see how well it will help me today. Oh, yes. I love black green. I have a Golgari shirt. Maybe I'll even wear it on one of these episodes to prove my credibility. Ooh, Golgari, all that graveyard interaction. Mm. If you would please be so kind as to do a wiggly magical summoning motion. So usually I don't do this right you know, when I meet someone, but I mean, we're friends now, so. Sounds great. So you ready? Okay. Do, Oh. I'm just gonna follow your lead. Okay. I'm gonna follow your lead. Okay, you ready? Okay. Ah! <sighs> I, oh. I can't remember parts of my childhood. Where am I right now? Who cares, let's play oh, yeah. magic. Dude, I'm super thrilled to be playing Michelle because she is an experienced magic player. And that's always fun because you can make the inside jokes about cards you don't like and stuff and have them be like, yeah. I just, I just want a good game where people will watch and go, oh, you couldn't have done any better than that. I don't yeah. want one of those like, oh, what is he doing? But that's okay. <laughs> With all the fear within me and the power of Golgar, oh, look at this. Oh, Garrick, it's I'm so happy you're here. It's kind of perfect for you. Oh. This hand is such a pain in my butt. I'm gonna have to send my, my hand back. He's not looking so hot. I hate mulliganing so much. So mulliganing to six, that's not that bad, but we're halfway to her mulliganing to five. So, so far, so good. I am going to keep. With decks like this in this format, three land, four spells, oh, I even have all my land. It's perfect for a straw. All right. So I'll keep this, even though it's, it's, it's okay. I am a little bit land flooded with this hand, but I'm pretty optimistic that I'm gonna draw exactly what I need. Oh, that. Do that again. Ready for it? Do that again. Show it to the camera. Again, there's those telltale signs. Either someone wants to look like they know what they're doing, or someone who actually knows what they're doing. It's just a really quick hand movement, and for some reason, the sound just gets in someone's brain and just messes them up. You, don't, you never flick your cards? And her little. Doesn't need to do that. It means she gets it. Oh gosh. Good luck, have fun. Thank you, you too. Good luck, kangaroo luck. Kangaroo luck? Play a swamp. Pass the turn to you. Are you sure? That's a I'm swamp. positive, yes. So I'm gonna play a plane. So I'm gonna tap it for selfless Cathar. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. Like he, hel he helps everyone out. He's the yeah. kind of Marty you want to around. Yeah, and then I'm done. Your turn. Play in a forest. Pass the turn to you. That was a pretty intense turn for you. Uh, you know, I, I, I like to mass up on my land. I like to hoard them. So I'm gonna play a forest while you- I like it. Go on your weird sort of speech. Tangent. In response to you playing your forest, I will tap for one. That's rough. Okay. It hurts me. Okay, well I'm gonna go into combat. Okay. And I'm gonna boop you for one. And I declare no blockers. How does it feel? Does it hurt? It, it stings, it stings a little bit. It's like, a, it's like a paper cut, but not from a really sharp piece of paper. It's like an oh. after the fact where you're like, oh, I guess that was a paper like when cut. When you're washing your hands, you're like, oh, how'd that happen? Yeah, yeah, like, oh, it stings oh. now that I'm washing it with soap. Mm. Okay. Okay, and then uh, I think I'm actually going to end my turn in to you, sir. Mm. All right, Swamp. Uh, and then I will play the Netcaster Spider. Oh my gosh, what does he do? He is a 2-3 spider with reach. He does all the normal spidery things. He throws his webs up in the air. Snatches the flying dudes, but he's exceptionally good against flyers. Yeah, that kind of uh, hurts me a little bit. Kind of hurts me. I do have some flyers in this deck. Oh, excellent. Oh, that's fantastic news. Maybe for you. Well, Pass the turn actually, you. at the end of your turn, I'm going to do something. I'm going to uh -oh. cast an instant. Okay. So I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to cast Raise the Alarm. I'm really excited about Raise the Alarm. I get to play it at the end of his turn since it's an instant, and if I maybe draw another one, it might be a good combat trick. So I'm gonna magically have my two soldier tokens appear. Are you, are you nervous now? 
I have no fear. I am here purely <laughs> for the funsies. So I don't really know what to think because I kind of have a slower, more mid-rangey deck, but green-white, what she's playing, can be overwhelming early stuff with tokens, or it can be mid-rangey. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be scared of. And so now it's my turn because I did the interiors. Of course. So I'm gonna play another forest. Okay. So. So it's looking, it's looking okay. Um, I think that's actually going to be the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of planning. I'm gonna do some stewing because I, I'm trying to, de I'm, okay, I'm debating whether I should swing with the spider. You, you have should. three mana open. I should? Yeah, you should. Okay, I'll swing, I'll attack. I'll attack with him. No blocks. Yes! <laughs> yes! It. Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, I knew you wouldn't lie to me. Yeah, why would I lie to you? I I'm don't know for, why you would lie to fun. me. Okay, funsies. so here's the card that I was spending a while reading. It's called Cruel Sadist. So Cruel Sadist, I, I think that should be a good card, but again, I don't really know how her deck's supposed to function. Oh, dude, I'm all about the Golgari. I'm also going to play another Netcaster Spider. Another one? I got two. Ah, <sighs> spiders. I hate spiders so freaking much. So I went to the store and I got like a six pack of spiders. I actually dream about spiders and I had a dream about spell slingers, but I didn't expect spiders to infiltrate this as well. I don't know how many are in this deck, but here are two. There are in fact two of them. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, can oh I, my can God. Can I see the card again if you just want to Oh, crap. I'm <laughs> I looked at it wrong. Okay, look, I, I intended to play uh -huh. Another uh, uh, and Netcaster not the uh, reclame, and not not the one that destroys a target artifact or enchantment when it enters play. Yeah, but uh. but now that's in like I know he has it now. So if I have yeah. any of those, now if this were like a pro tour or something like that, I would have had to have had that card out, and they would be like, "So what you're saying is you want to know if you can not do the thing that you chose to do?" And I'd be like, "Yeah." Is that, is that okay? Is that cool? Is that cool, guys? Fortunately, we're not on the Pro Tour for Magic the Gathering. We're we're just uh, two people, two humans on a table that's way mm. too big. It is really like... It's really huge. It's like, I will block that soldier there! Like, I'm decreeing onto the battlefield. Here's the DMZ. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. can put, like, coffee and stuff. Yeah, like, I can put my piece of pizza right here. Oh, pizza sounds good. Pass the turn to you. Well, actually, um, at the end of your turn... I'm gonna summon more soldiers! I, I am gonna raise the alarm once again. So I get two more. So You're done, right? Wait, what do you, what, this is, okay, now hold on, Michelle, this is a show, can you organize your land? What? This is aesthetically pleasing. Oh, oh, well, I guess that is a subjective thing that I can't necessarily disagree with, but look at how organized and clear that is. There's an editor who's just like, oh, thank God, the greens with the green, the blacks with the black. You don't black. think this is pretty? Like, you get to see, like, all the lands, like, it just looks, you know you're playing green-white. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm imagining someone who's trying to, like, have a graphic that says, forests. Planes. There's like arrows like doing this. It looks like, like a hell where, where are they at <laughs> with this land? Okay, so I'm gonna do something that I am pretty excited about. I'm gonna play Triplicate Spirits. And Convoke is pretty cool because basically I can tap my creatures and use them as land. Convoke is freaking sweet. I got to cast Triplicate Spirits using the soldier tokens. They actually act as mana, and that's gonna help me ramp up to those really big spells. So I'm tapping five of them and it's a six costing spell and then I'm gonna pay one to bring in even more guys. So Michelle's technique is Chinese water torture. She's just gonna throw little droplets at me forever. Little guys. The only problem with having this gigantic army is making sure my board state doesn't look completely confusing because there's so many guys. And so I'm, I'm able to pass the, uh, the turn. Okay, so I, you have a horde. So I am first going to play a forest. I don't think I want to be swinging in. I think I'm going to have to play it a little slow. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should, like, I want to help you, but at the same time, I want to win. So I kind of want to save my stab wound for a big creature, but there's a lot of tokens there, so I think I have to use it on the Cathar. So I am going to, I don't know, I'm going to do it. Stab wound onto your guy. Oh, it's always heartbreaking when your little Cathar gets ripped in pieces by a stab wound. I definitely did not expect that one. For any of you who want to upset another person in the upcoming M15 set, make sure you get as many stab wounds in a draft as possible. Oh my gosh, Sean, I want to stab wound your face. So in response to your stab wounds, I'm going to pay two and actually sack my 
Sacrifice my guy. I can't quite read it from here, but I recall it being plus one, plus one until <laughs> end of turn. And if I mess up on camera, that's okay, because all I do in this show is mess up on camera. I've already mm -hmm. revealed to you that I have a Reclamation Sage. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah, I wanted to kill that guy. Because, I mean, if I dealt X damage to it, you might have a buff. Yeah. Give it plus boost and it would do nothing. Um, I think I'm good. Okay. I think, I think I quit my turn. Oh, so does that mean I just win because you're quitting? Or? No, just the oh, turn. Just the turn. It. I'm only temporarily conceding this round. I'm organizing my army because it's getting kind of... Tense, no, no, so. This is so I can't. I hold I all these my lines. soldiers. Ugh. Oh wait, I shouldn't have shown you my cards. Okay, draw. So I think I am going to go into combat. I feel like I need to put some pressure on the board. I'm afraid of your like big guys that you have. You know, I'm just going to block two spirits. These first two, each okay. with a different spider. So in response. So no, no, don't organize so your land you, attack. After you have declared oh, blockers, crap. I'm going to pay. Oh, is this the the destroyify with light? What's it this called? This is a devouring light. Devouring light. Devouring light was pretty much my ace in the hole. I was holding it. I was waiting for it. I was gonna swing in, and I was really hoping that it was gonna block, because if I can get rid of any of those spiders, I'm in a much better place. Which spider would you like to exile? Probably him. He seems like kind of a jerk. Excellent. Yeah, he's gone. He's exiled. And then you're taking five damage, and then he's he's dead. Oh my god! I killed one. <laughs> You know, you're getting there one one spirit at a time, right? Five damage, gonna go down to 14. So I am going to play a land during my second main phase. Mm. And you have one card. Mm -hmm. okay. It's actually a really good card, too. It's. <laughs> I hope it's another land. I could sense that he thought I had something really freaking sweet. But in reality, it was just a planes card that I've been fanning myself with for the last couple of minutes. Uh, you wish it's another I hope line. you're doing the mind games. I'm gonna keep my army organized, and then I will pass the turn. Okay, at the end of the turn, I will do the pay one life tap. Okay. We should just race it out. You should just keep attacking. All right. I think what I will do is play this Grave Digger that lets oh. me return one creature from the graveyard to my hand. So normally, the Grave Digger's great because you can bring something back, but with all the one ones out there, I kind of feel like if I can just get another body there, that will really slow things down and buy me more time. He is going to bring back nothing from the graveyard because the only thing I have in a graveyard is a stab wound. The exiled spider. He's oh. gonna bring it up on their podcast. Hey guys, I'm <laughs> casting from exile. I'm on a tethered <laughs> phone. I hope the reception's okay. And I think, I think I just have to pass a gain. Okay, are you good? Done. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna like this at all. Okay. You're probably. You have said that at the start of everything. This is like yeah, boy I who really, cried wolf. I now. really, I know. I say that pretty much every you're time. Hate this. No, you, you really are going to probably hate this. You know what? I'm gonna be just fine with it. I'm gonna be a man. I'm gonna be able to take it. Yeah, I just right. begin to cry. Like, you're gonna I be just... sobbing by, uh, by Garrick in the back. <laughs> I just wanted to win it, magic voice like quivering and stuff. That's okay. <laughs> I'm Bosco Garrick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big bubbles. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna play uh, Seraph of the Masses. Oh. So, um, yeah, that's an angel, bro. Seraph of the Masses is one of those cards that I was really hoping that I was gonna draw. And you know, having a seven-seven flyer, that's you know, that's that's pretty good. Convoke, flying, power, and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control. And I have hella creatures. I have a ton of creatures. But that's okay. You're going to have to tap. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna. Pay with one, two, so that's gonna cover the two. Plummet's in my deck. Oh my gosh. Now, for any of you who don't know, Plummet is a card that has the following mechanic. Tie anchors to a creature with flying over a volcano. It dies, it kills the flying thing, unless uh, these are very strong anchors. If you this top is, deck it, I'm gonna walk out. I know, that's gonna be so good. <laughs> I'm gonna walk out. Like, I'm not finishing this I'm show. out. <laughs> Five, six, seven, so that pays for the casting cost. And I still have these two green Hi. untapped for something that you probably would not want to swing into. Here you go, sir. So I did this, and then I do that. So now I'm at 12. 12. Okay, cool. So this has two. Suddenly I have to add lots of small numbers together with a little bit of hope. Right now that's a 6-6. Six, six. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, actually seven. Oh, this is, this is just bad, sad, bad. The Seraph is like, it's just out of range. I can deal six damage and has seven life. See, I don't know if you're like, this is like your poker face. Like you actually have like super good stuff in your hand. If I can kill like one thing or do like one more damage, I'm like this close. I've, I've like almost solved the problem. But in magic, that's kind of like having a car with almost four wheels. So uh, wish me luck. Pass. 
You're passing? I mean, do you just have lands in your hand? Is that is that what I'm sensing? <laughs> whoop, whoop! Okay. <laughs> so, untapped. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna draw. Let's see here. So you have two cards in hand. I just drew something that was really awesome. So I'm gonna play a land. So you have four, six power on the board. She's a seven, seven. You're playing green though, that has a lot of buffs, but she's flying so you can only really block with the spider. So I'm gonna go into combat with the Seraph. Declare blockers. Okay, not gonna do anything. Are you gonna do anything? Oh my, is giant growth? Uh, Titanic growth. Titanic growth, no! I don't have it. Oh my gosh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh Titanic man, that, <laughs> see all I need to do is announce something like, I'm gonna play Titanic growth. And his dead. Another right. spider bites the dust. And then, go. At the end of your turn. <sighs> oh no. I'm going to cast Unmake the Graves, okay. which is return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. I'm going to tap this to make it cost less because I can. Okay, because it also has Convoke. And then I will tap, tap, pay one life, go to 11. I'm going to, I don't need another dice because <laughs> this is a six-sided dice with both two mm -hmm. and three upon it. So I'm gonna get this back into my hand. Okay, so you only got to bring back the spider. I, I delayed it a turn. But it's gonna save you from the, the flying angel of wreck your face arena. So I am going to play the netcaster spider. Oh, <laughs> fancy that. I didn't expect to see him back so soon. Pass the turn to you. Okay, my turn. Yes. So I have this really intense untapped base. I'm gonna play Feral Incarnation. What is so that? So it's another way to make more guys, but these time they're three, three beasts. So I had a three wheeled car. I almost had four wheels, but now that car is also on fire. So now I have these three giant beast creatures, which in turn makes my freaking Seraph even bigger. <laughs> I don't really have a lot of hope now that the beasts are out. Let's be honest, Sean's in trouble. Okay, let me just, look, we gotta, we gotta <laughs> pause. Oh, this is really bad. There and you it go. has Convoke too, which is really nice because I mean, okay. I, I have all these soldiers that, uh, you know, do work. So I need to pay nine total. So let's see here. So I have three, Oof. six, oh, just... seven, eight, nine. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's a he's a ten, ten. And how much life are you at eleven? I'm. I, I mean, I'm at eleven life. Are you? Could you be actually dead? So going to combat. Okay. So are you attacking with any? Um, these guys are hanging. He's he's hanging out. This is uh, Matthew. Um, he's just gonna hang out right there. Okay. So you can chump that, but you're still taking two. This is this is difficult. You should probably just not block this, I feel. Oh god, if you didn't draw those beasts. Yeah, these are that was a pretty That was the, that was a me. nice topic. Yeah. Deck. Actually I had them in my hand the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at eleven. I actually have to block your ten ten. Chumperino. Pizzerino. So Sean's pretty much f Right, I have this 10-10 Seraph swinging at his face. There's literally nothing he can do. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that he doesn't have any tricks because with this, I think, I think I'm gonna win. This is bad. All right. I mean, good for me though, you Jump. know. You're taking two damage. And Pew. so I will go to nine. Okay. I'm getting massacred here. I feel bad though, like he's had a really bad experience to the show. <laughs> he just keeps getting brought yeah. back to life. He's like, oh my God, I have to block <laughs> Bird again, no! <laughs> block him with the bird, he goes to the grave, I'm like, get back and block the bird! And he's like, like, oh god. How dare you go to the graveyard? Actually, that's what your deck does though, so. It's like that nightmare where you keep waking up in the same nightmare It's again. Groundhog Dig for spiders. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess I just chump, I took the two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can, can, my turn? Mmm, I'm tapped out. Go. For good cinema. Okay. Here's the thing, if it's not plummet, I'm dead. And if it's plummet, I'm gonna play it immediately. So I started out just needing a fourth wheel, and then my car caught fire. So it's Not okay. Plummet. It's okay for me to show this card for the sweat in the center table. Yes. And now I'm being stung in the face by bees. <laughs> uh, I I think I concede. <laughs> so I concede. Thank God I beat Sean.
that's that's a land. That's planes right there. No, all it's, game no it's not. Okay. And it's okay, okay. <laughs> it's I've been poker facing it so hard this whole time. Dude, what do you mean poker facing? What could I do? Yeah. My teammates were actually threatening to fire me from my job if I didn't beat them. Okay, look, here we go. Okay. Let me let me see. I just needed to last a few more turns before we could get to plummet. Okay, looking good. Three. 35, 38. <gasps> Only 38 I needed turns. to hold that for 38 turns. Yeah. And then I would have gotten plummet. Oh, so close. Just 38 more draws. That's it. Just 38 more draws. Just a little bit of time. It's all I need. You can just put that right back. Right on there. Michelle. Sir. Well Michelle. played. Thank you, sir. That final swing with the Seraph, and I mean, I had those other little tokens, they were great, but that Seraph, that final swinging blow into him giving up was such a good feeling. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Spell Slingers. May you go forth and play Magic the Gathering and draw your needed card a little bit sooner than 38 turns. Cheers. <laughs>